Hi everyone and welcome back to Doll Star. Who? So you might be thinking, what the f is Doll Star? Well, I am here to tell you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hi, my name is Brock. I made this channel about 25, 26. Five, six, almost six years ago. Um, and the original name, which it might still be on there if I haven't figured out how to change the name yet, was The Dolly Deck. I started out on AGIG in 2015, 2014 um, with the name The Dolly Deck. And in the spring of my sophomore year, I decided to create a YouTube channel because a lot of my friends were also AGTubers as well as AGIGers and I've always loved content creation, but my parents wouldn't allow me to do YouTube for quite some time. And then when I made a really close friend, Teddy, who is Small Dolls here on AGTube, um, kind of talked to them. They were more lenient about me doing it and they allowed me to create a channel. Um, I haven't posted on here in quite some time, as you can see. I took a step back from doll content creation around my junior year of high school because that's when I started, that's when COVID hit. Um, and that is when I started to take my theater training more seriously. I am now a BFA musical theater major and I enjoy every amount of my schooling, but my schedule is super rigorous. So I never really had the time to do content creation on top of it, but I've kind of been missing being able to share my love of dolls and my thoughts with the community and, you know, doing all this fun stuff with my dolls. So I decided I'm going to carve out some time to make videos for YouTube. And I'm gonna try and do a balance of both personal content and doll content. I also have another channel on here um, named Brockstar and you know very similar i love doing both personal musical theater content you know different vlogs different audition tips tricks da da da, da from my experience in the theater world and um but i also love my dolls and i love talking about toy collecting and um art and different things like that so i'm excited to get back on here and share that with you guys so the name change. Okay, so initially on Instagram, my main personal Instagram account was also my doll account. So I would post both personal content and doll content. And it kind of became, as I got older, a thing that I was like, okay, but do my friends really want to see this stuff on their feed or do I need to separate and find a different community? Because I will say I was on, I, I think I got a good mix of like personal people following my account and some doll people, but I never took HEIG seriously until 2015. And that is when I created the Dolly Deck. Now, that is such a pivotal moment in my life because the dolly deck really grew very quickly. Um, I was 14, 15 and became instantly embraced by the community and by a very strong group of friends of mine that I'm still very close with to this day. Um, and you know, the doll community has been such a beautiful thing in my life that I want to get back into it. And I want to inspire people like other people inspired me. So yeah. So as much as I wanted the separation of the two accounts, I still couldn't get out of my head that I felt like I was living in two separate worlds. This was until I had changed my personal username to Brockstar. I'm not gonna say what it was before because it was cringy as fuck. Um, <laughs> but I was also a child. So anyways, I changed my personal Instagram account name to be something more fun, something more me. Um, 
and I was feeling a lot of separation between the two accounts. But my doll collecting is such a pivotal part of my personality and I just felt like trying to separate it was being too inauthentic. So that's when I created the name Dollstar and that is when I changed it. I changed it back in about probably January of 2021 and I haven't looked back since. I really enjoy being able to have my two usernames that are still somewhat similar but also the accounts are so vastly different. Not truly, I mean I have pictures of me with my mini me on my personal so it's not like anything crazy but <laughs> I, I wanted to have that uniformity without having to be one complete account. Now obviously the doll market has changed since I have been on here last. Initially, this account was very targeted towards the American Girl AG Tube demographic, but now that I'm older and I have my own money <laughs> and, you know, can buy the things that I want without, you know, having to ask my parents, um, I have been collecting a lot more than just American Girl. Initially, I had collected Monster High for a long time, initially when it first came out with the Generation 1. Now I'm collecting both Generation 1 and Generation 3 again. Uh, I also started collecting LOL Surprise, OMG dolls. Those I don't really collect anymore because they, the, the first few that were released were really my favorites and then from then on out, it kind of got blurred. Um, I also collect Bratz dolls now. I wasn't allowed to have Bratz dolls as a kid, but now as an adult and someone who is of a trans experience, Bratz dolls are such like a pivotal thing to my identity because of the hyper stylized, hyper femme, hyper sassy like look. Um, I'm also very much into Y2K fashion. That is the era I was raised in. So those dolls are very like a pivotal part of my experience in the doll world. Um, I also collect, not anymore because of how bad the quality has gone down, but I used to collect Rainbow High dolls. I'm not really collecting the Generation 2 soft reboot dolls. The faces are really pretty, but the quality of the dolls overall, not really my thing. We can get into that in another video maybe if you guys are interested um, about my thoughts on the doll market right now. But. I just wanted to come on here and make this quick little video and say, hi, I'm alive. I'm planning on coming back. I'm planning on making sure I have time to film a short little video every Saturday or every Sunday and post weekly so that I can kind of push my ass back out into the doll community. And obviously, as you can tell, I curse like a sailor. So my account is going to be main, mainly targeted towards adult collectors. This is no shade to the kids. You know, I if I didn't if I wasn't allowed to collect dolls as a kid, I don't think I would be the person I am today. But I'm an adult now. I have a certain demographic to reach and I feel like we all we all see eye to eye. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and if you're new here, welcome. Um, I'm so excited to be back. I'm so excited to share with you guys what I have in store for this channel. I have a doll with me. She'll wave bye to you too. This is Claudie <laughs> from American Girl. Um, definitely uh, a very underrated doll. They did not advertise her as they should have. So Mattel, take notes because she is pretty as hell. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you stay tuned for more chaotic content coming very soon. Bye.